So I'm still reading Al Isra, The Night Journey, Surah 17. And I read something today which sort of surprised me. Um, something that on first reading I didn't really fully grasp. And I've since read Al Isra like eight times because I love it. And so I was reading it this morning and this is Ayahs 81 through 82. Um, I read from there. Say truth has come and falsehood has vanished. Truly falsehood is ever vanishing. And we send down of the Quran that which is a cure and a mercy for the believers. And it increases the wrongdoers in naught but loss. So increasing the wrongdoers in naught but loss, meaning that the Quran actually increases their wrongdoing. Like that really surprised me. Like, Praise be to Allah. The Quran is the word of Allah that was revealed to his prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and is recited as an act of worship. This definition of the Quran is comprehensive. Our saying the word of Allah excludes the words of human beings or others. Our saying revealed to his prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, excludes anything that was revealed to anyone else, such as the Injil, Gospel, Torah, Torah, and Zabur, Psalms. Our saying it is recited as an act of worship excludes the Hadith Qudsi, a hadith in which the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, narrated words from Allah which are not part of the Qur'an. It brings light and gives certainty. It is the strong rope. It is the path of the righteous. It tells us of those who came before us, prophets and righteous people, and how those who disobeyed them tasted the punishment of Allah and were humiliated. It contains verses which speak of the miracles of Allah and His power in this great universe. It tells us of the origins of human beings who are created from despised water, semen. It contains the basic principles of faith which must be embraced by every humble heart. It contains the rules of Sharia which tells us what is permissible and what is forbidden, what is true and what is false. It tells us of the resurrection and the fate of human beings, either in the fire in which they will burn and be among those who are humiliated, or in paradise with its gardens, springs, plants and places of security. In it there is healing for men's hearts, light and illumination for the blind. Allah says, And we send down of the Quran that which is a healing and a mercy to those who believe in Islamic monotheism and act on it, and it increases the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, nothing but loss. Al-Hafiz Ibn Kathir said in his commentary on this verse, Here Allah tells us about his book which he revealed to his messenger Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and which is the Quran, which falsehood cannot come to it from before it or behind it. It is sent down by the all-wise, worthy of all praise, that it is a healing and a mercy to those who believe. That is, it takes away the diseases in the heart such as doubt, hypocrisy, shirk, deviation and misguidance. The Quran heals all of that. And it is also a mercy which brings about faith, wisdom and the pursuit of and desire for goodness. This is only for those who believe in it and follow it. For such it will be a healing and a mercy. But as for the kafir and those who wrong themselves thereby, their hearing the Quran only makes them further away from truth and increases them in kufr. The problem comes from the kafir, not from the Qur'an, Qutada said, concerning the phrase, and we send down of the Qur'an that which is a healing and a mercy to those who believe. When the believer hears it, he benefits from it, memorizes it, and understands it. And it increases the zalimun, polytheists, and wrongdoers, nothing but loss, means they do not benefit from it, memorize it, or understand it. Allah has made this Qur'an a healing and a mercy for the believers. Tafsir Ibn Kathir 360. Allah says, O mankind, there has come to you a good advice from your Lord, that is the Quran, enjoining all that is good and forbidding all that is evil, and a healing for that which is in your breasts, a guidance and a mercy, explaining lawful and unlawful things for the believers. In it is guidance for mankind, away from misguidance and to the truth. This is the book, the Quran, Whereof there is no doubt a guidance to those who are al mutakun the pious, al-Baqarah 2, 2. It contains innumerable benefits, so everyone who seeks happiness in this world and in the hereafter must refer to it for judgment and follow its commands. Whatever commands and prohibitions are in the Qur'an, we must adhere to them. 
al ikam 192, and Allah knows best. So, this video clearly explains the correct meaning of the verse mentioned by the non-Muslim lady with wrong interpretation and meaning. That's it for today. Let's pray together as may Allah guide such unbelievers to the right path. Until next time, peace upon you.